Who wants to feel like they're grinding all the time? No, you want to feel like you're being productive. What's up, everybody? My name is Leihua, and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Leihua Superfina. Today, we are reviewing the game, and that is Mario Rabbit's Sparks of Hope. I want to give a huge thank you to Ubisoft for providing a code for the Nintendo Switch. The story of this title is Mario and the Rabbids get pulled into another adventure by this foe named Cursa. Cursa is looking for these mysterious creatures called Sparks. And Sparks are actually a fusion of Lumos and Rabbids. And Cursa wants to destroy all that exists for some reason. And we are going to thwart that person's plan. Now, I actually played the previous title of Mario and Rabbits and I enjoyed it thoroughly. What I really like about this title, Sparks of Hope, is that one, there's new characters, two, we have different moves, three, we have more special abilities, four, we have different ways to play. The first title was really straightforward. It was like point A, B, C, D. This one, it's a2, A1, A3, and so on and so forth. It's really enjoyable. I love the variety of this game. One of the things that's like a variety in this game is we're traveling throughout the universe saving sparks, the fusion of Lumas and rabbits. And once we rescue them, they join our team and they can be used as buffs or extra moves I want to say in the previous title we had our fighting techniques and then we had our special skill now we have our fighting technique special skill and we can use buffs attacks with the sparks and to acquire the sparks we don't only have to quote rescue them quote we can actually also solve some puzzles or just complete certain requirements quests to unlock the sparks and speaking of sparks one of our new characters is edge apparently she travels throughout the universe to rescue the sparks and i haven't reached this part yet but apparently we're gonna encounter a rabbit rosalina which we shouldn't be surprised because lumos are involved there has to be a rabbit rosalina I'm super excited for this one. I haven't gotten to her yet. I hope I'll get her soon. And then remember when I said that there's a variety in this game? From what I remember in Mario and Rabbids, like I said, it was like point A, B, C, D and such. In this title, whenever we visit different planets, there is a lot more flexibility for exploration, which I really like. It's different and there's so many puzzles to solve so we can access certain areas that's being blocked and such when areas are being blocked by curse of darkness we have to enter battle and by entering the battle we gain more experience and by gaining more experience we level up and by leveling up we can upgrade our skills and whatnot so there's always a chain reaction to things it's it doesn't feel grindy, I want to say. And who wants, who wants to feel like they're grinding all the time? No, you want to feel like you're being productive. And everything has a purpose, which it is. This game, everything has a purpose in it. There are some things I want to point out that feel different from the previous title in Sparks of Hope. There are actually some missions where it requires specific characters like i did one called the princess and the pugilist and that one involved princess peach and rabbit mario and it only had those two characters in this mission like i had a whole different team set up and automatically it picked these two characters for this specific mission and it worked out but the only thing is after the mission they stayed on the team so if i wanted to revert back to my original team i had to manually fix that which was totally fine it's no biggie easy peasy lemon squeezy 
and then the other thing was different were the special skills the animations the cinematic animation part was different it looked better way better like omg it amazing then we got the rabbits they actually talk they don't sound like they're actually talking that is so fun because you can really hear their personality not just by the motions and whatnot like for example rabbit peach she's totally got some attitude and she sounds like a valley girl and it matches it's so good <laughs> and then like i said before there's a lot of variety in this game not only with the exploration the fighting but also in the game the platforms the battles yeah the battles that's what we're gonna call them so the ones that i've experienced so far are defeat all enemies reach the goal and there was one more i want to say it was the survival which was very different and when i say different per se is um we had the goombas and they had these pans pots on their head acting as helmets and we were supposed to survive six moves so i was thinking oh yeah i can just kill them all right no because they have the protective headgear and so it took me a while to figure out how to survive per se and the key thing was to do the dash knock them down they're like on their backs pick them up and throw them off the platform that was the key and <laughs> i had these sparks there was one spark that had like a sound effect that blew away the enemies that was good at first but then the enemies would just come back to me so afterwards i got this other spark that acted sort of like a poison and it was okay but the goombas would still come back and then finally i just decided to go with the dash and knock down the goombas and throw them off the platforms that was like the most effective there was no buff skills needed whatsoever what i needed to do was just make sure that i kept my distance away from the goombas so that they wouldn't reach me and dash themselves you know what i mean jelly bean other than that this game was very enjoyable i had a lot of fun i like how the different planets have these different vibes atmosphere you don't feel like it's repetitive i love how there's different missions and that when you go on the map yes there's a map i don't I don't remember if there was a map on the other Mario Rabbits, but this one has a map and it shows you all the where all the missions are and where some need extra attention and where the sparks are. And once you complete those areas where there's a spark, a mission and such, it clears off. It's really cool. And then if you want to pick one, you can pin it. And then on the left side of the screen, top left corner, there's like a little map and it kind of shows a direction how to get there. I don't remember if the previous Mario Rabbids game had this. I don't think it did because it didn't really need it. <laughs> While well, this one does, but I really like it. And that's my review of Ubisoft's Mario and Rabbids Sparks of Hope for the Nintendo Switch. Hope you guys liked this video and if you did, don't forget to give it a like. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you want to hang out, we stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. And if you like anime and manga, I host podcasts across worlds where you talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. Other than that, my name is Lehula and this is the Superfina channel reviewing Ubisoft's Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope for the Nintendo Switch. Hope you guys like this video and we'll see you on the next one. Laters!